Hey good fellas, we are in Basel today and we're going to discover something very special and it's fellow jewels or better fellow pants. Let's go! Rafael, Hello. how are you man? Good to see you. Meet you. Welcome. Fantastic, thank you, thank you so much. It's amazing to be here, huh? Yeah. Like we didn't see each other for like two years at least, About, right? Yeah, right. It was like uh, before Corona. Yes, it yeah, was before. Yeah, 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 then it's already three, four years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and last time I, w I came and we did also an article on Extable. It was at the right. Markthalle, which is a beautiful spot right. uh, also here in Basel. And now you're here in, uh, beautiful, in a beautiful street, yeah. beautiful store, like usually everything very aesthetically <laughs> well made. Yeah, right. Yeah, Markthalle was, was getting too small for us. Yeah. We, we had, had to grow and uh, finally we found this beautiful old building where we set up everything how long is it now that you're that you're here at uh, in this location well it's it's been like a year now we moved uh, end of august last year yeah and yeah super and so you're happy to be here it's it's beautiful yeah, it's perfect fantastic like everything is as we as we wished before perfect <laughs> Raphael, last time I came at the Mark Talle, I remember when you called me and you showed me this pants that you were doing and I told you right away that the clip design, the, the way you designed it, there was something I really liked about it. That's why I told you right away, you know what? I'm interested in carrying these at Style of Zug. Right. And then you came at, in Zug, I came to Basel, we did some nice reportage about your work. And since then, a lot of things have evolved. So one thing that I, that I have to say, and, and you'll, you'll underline that is, I mean, you're now independent, you're an entrepreneur since around how much? Three, three years? Yeah, it's been three years now. So it's been three years, fantastic. And uh, very successfully, I can see, because the pieces you have here, <laughs> uh, you, you can see spot on that it's not, easy stuff. Right, no. Tell me a bit about your journey of being an entrepreneur. Like you started how many years ago? Yeah, right. I started three years ago uh, at Marktolle. Yeah. And uh, yeah, since then uh, there was like a continuous change yeah. uh, in the in the material I use, in the also I could hire some goldsmith. It's amazing. How many people are you right now? Uh, like actually we are five people. And it's we just, incredible. Yeah, right? it's, it's, been, it's been good. And uh, we just hired uh, uh, number six. Yeah, she Fantastic. starts in uh, November. Very nice. You know, I, I see goldsmiths sometimes, but usually, you know, they're alone, maybe tw uh, two people. Yeah, but right. you in three years, six people, it's, it's awesome. No, it's, so been, it's been good, yeah. Um, I think it was like an organic uh, growth. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we had a lot of work and we have to manage it somehow. Yeah, absolutely. And so we, we, yeah. You grew and grew and grew. Right. Fantastic. So, yeah. And obviously your main focus is, as we can see here, jewelry right. and, and so on. But, and, and you're going to explain us a bit about the jewelry <laughs> because I want also you, for you to see what incredible pieces he has here. He already told me over the phone what kind of craziness he has. Yeah. But uh, just to bring it in, why we're here, since I, I, you know, I usually communicate about sure. pens, you do pens. You started with ball points and, and we've already shown that and we had this at Style of Two. But since then you also developed into fountain pens. Right. And before we start and we go on, I would like to ask you why fountain pens? Why pens overall? I mean, how did you come to that idea? Well, to be honest, uh, a customer of mine brought it to, to me, brought me to that uh, specific art. Um, I had a good customer. And she was like collecting jewels. Yeah. Uh, but also, what I didn't know, she collected fountain pens. Wow. Yeah. And I didn't know much about fountain pens back then. Mm -hmm. And then she showed me some crazy pieces. You might uh, mm -hmm. know, like the Alfred Hitchcock. Ah, oh, yeah, the, the like usual the, collector pieces. Right, yeah. And then I was like, okay, wow, this is, this is nice. Um, and as a goldsmith, I always thought about, could I do this on my own? Like, with the with a, a approach of a goldsmith. And uh, that's when I started. I, I was like, uh, getting some raw material, try to to put something together. Yeah. And that's how it started, actually. So you got this idea of doing fountain pens, even if you were a goldsmith, and I think the main thing is creating right. jewels, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, no. Actually, it started like, like the, the, the idea of making our own fountain pen by hand was like eight years ago. Mm. So, yeah. Then and since, the, since then you started developing, understanding right, how like, to put yeah, it together. Like the material and everything. Yeah. 
and also like the, the single parts, the nibs, and because right. there, there's a whole like world behind making a fountain pen. Sure. It's not just like saying, okay, let's sure. uh, let's do something, but there's specific no, parts. And, and uh, you know, there is not a book. There is not a. Yeah, good point. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you can't uh, go and read about it. <laughs> Everything you will see, yeah. I develop on my own. Fantastic. So yeah, for me, like making a fountain is something between goldsmith and watchmaking. Yeah, so, good it's, point. It's, yeah, no, it's like uh, for sure should should have some uh, aesthetic aspects. Yeah, but also like the mechanical. Yeah. I mean, a fountain pen. Yeah, it has to it has to work. Right. When you, when you open it up, you, it's got to sound right. nice. It's got to be right. nice. So, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. That's a little different from making jewels. Like it should be like on top. Like uh, everything should fit together. Yeah. Yeah, there's a there's a highly also engineering aspect that kind of, that, right. that doesn't really come right. uh, in, in jewels, right. which yeah, has some pieces, but yeah, yeah, not in general. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. not in the classic sense. Yeah. So and yeah, that's that's what I liked. I mean. Yeah. And now you're gonna, uh, now after we're gonna really focus on uh, fountain pens and so sure. on and pens because we want to understand your concept, we want to understand how many pens do you do per year, how do you do them, materials right. you use and so on. But before we do that, I'd like to browse around a bit like the, the, the jewelry you have here, yeah. which is truly magni With magnificent. <laughs> I love the clean aesthetics that you do and, and I think you have great taste when it comes to all of that. But explain us a bit like what we can see in the windows. Yeah, sure. Um, well, mostly we try to to minimize on the max. Let's say yeah, we, we, we keep it simple, as it, as you said before. And uh, we like to work with precious stone, precious material, which are really unique. Like, for example, over here you see like a 12 carat emerald, uh -huh. which is uh, stunning. Yeah, stunning. just for the size, it's it's pretty unique. Um, there we have some fancy diamond shapes. Which I really like. Um, Beautiful. What is like this? Looks very special. Yeah, what yeah. is this? What what kind of materials? Thank you. Yeah. I see uh, yellow gold probably. Right. Diamonds. What's the green part? Yeah. Right. This is rose gold set uh, with diamonds and some uh, for flower um, patterns. Yeah. But the main thing here is the greenish. Uh, this is jadeite, and this jadeite is uh, from Burma, and yeah. it's completely natural. So there is no treatment Incredible. and at all. And this is like the best jade quality you can get. Incredible. Yeah, and that's, is it a new kind of jade or is it a, a, an older, well, what, uh, I mean, how do you, also I see there is a specific like decoration on it, you, you yeah, bought right. these two elements and then you created the, right. your jewelry around right, it. Right, exactly, yeah. this is a carved jadeite, you can yeah, you probably know the, like the, the plain jadeite and the carved, this is yeah. a carved piece. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see but there, there are some um, um, papillons. So there are some uh, butterflies on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's just like a really floral design. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I think the material with... stands out. I mean, the... it's important part is, is that yeah. one. Yeah. Like, uh, I really like if there is something really valuable in the piece. Yeah, so, for absolutely. example, here you have a. So, in this case, just uh, sorry to interrupt. In this case, like the heart of the piece is yeah. the jade. This is where the value is. Yeah, so. and, and here we're obviously talking about the baguette diamond, right? This is baguette. This is baguette. emerald cut, but it's emerald cut. You see? Almost. You see? Almost. You did some exactly. homework, right? <laughs> no, this is like a. Again, this is pretty. It's an emerald cut, but it's a pretty unique one. Yeah. This uh, is a, a vintage emerald cut, which was cut in San Francisco in the 1920s. Oh, that's amazing. Um, and. Yeah, it does have some slightly different changes in the cut, but this is how you can see it's an old stone. So yeah, it's, this stone has a history. It's amazing. If you like. Yeah, and I love the, the, the this this whole like like story behind yeah, the material, yeah. the the the, uh, the the age of the material, where it's been yeah, done, yeah. and that's what makes it. Also you imagine like a diamond, it grows like over a hundred millions. Of years, yeah, exactly. In the earth, so yeah. it's like, yeah, it's it's history. So fantastic. Yeah. And last but not least, what we have here, uh, yeah, this is some colorful jewels. This is uh, also emerald, yeah, and garnet and diamonds. Fantastic. I really like the the color combination. How how long does it take you to do like a set of these? I'm just wondering because yeah, I, I don't interesting. know. Yeah, you know, it really depends. If you do like a simple ring, yeah, of course, sourcing the stones could take like. Weeks. That's years, the big no, part, yeah, right? Yeah, Having cool right. stones, nice stones. I put a lot of tons of efforts to source good stones. Yeah. This is like you can't see, but this is yeah. 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 
Yeah, but at the end you can because you can differ between. Thank you. Yeah, but, but, but it's true. underneath. It's it's covered, true. and that's the magic behind true. beautiful items, true. right? The, un the the covered work behind the yeah, beauty. Right. But uh, if you like, just cut it to the to the work mm -hmm. work hours. I would say for this piece about two weeks. Two weeks so, to get yeah. done, uh, so it's a yeah. crazy amount of work. Yeah, yeah it is, it is. And you gotta be careful with the stones, right. if you if you like break the Especially stones, whatever. Especially emeralds, yeah. this is crazy. Because they can break or yeah. what? I mean emeralds are almost the worst for setting. Yeah. Oh, incredible, yeah, yeah, yeah. incredible. Diamonds are not that hard, but the emeralds are hard to set. Uh, but, but, but sorry, explain me again. Yeah. Why are they hard to set? Like in which sense? Because they can break. Right. Oh, I mean, okay. every stone can break, even diamonds. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, no. um, but there are there are some stones like tanzanite, emeralds, opals. There are yeah, let's say more happy to break. Yeah, they're fragile. <laughs> they're more fragile. Right. Huh? Yeah. So if you if you like put the prong on the on the on the wrong side, you might. That's interesting. Yeah. I didn't know yeah. that. I yeah. didn't know that. So you gotta be super careful. Gotta have the right. the know-how and the experience, patience. And, patience yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and I guess also like like the the experience of having it done more than once, it helps you understand where it could it break, uh, yeah, like yeah, like yeah, yeah, everything yeah, yeah. in life, right? But you know, every stone is, is special. So an emerald is not an emerald. Like if you have like two emeralds, they could be completely different. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think that, that, that's a very interesting because we're talking about nat natural materials. Right. I'm not into this world anymore. I used to be, but I'm not into this world anymore. So I've lost quite some of it, but there's a whole world magic storytelling around the beauty of the stone, the imperfection right. of the stone, the, the, the nature that brings something so beautiful and so impressive yeah. or like, you know, a diamond. Yeah, 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 it's it's in, incredible, incredible. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still impressed about the color and, and everything what Mother Earth gives us, so it's it's crazy. Fantastic, yeah. I love it. I've I've also seen before we, we go on. I'd like to ask you just uh, I, I've seen like the bracelets you do, which are a right. bit more like like easy and cool. Yeah, 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 but, yeah. but I love it because sometimes you. you know it's yeah. This is more like the let's say casual. Can I see it? Sure. So this is our this oh, is I love this, this is you know I like the combination of like. Can I see it? Yeah, sure. I like the combination of like gold and diamond. With some, it's an easygoing material. Here you have like African glass pearls, and there you have like a really nice tennis diamond bracelet. Oh my God! Look at yeah. this. And this is you said? Yeah, this is. Uh, it's just glass. It's, it's glass from from Africa. Oh, with some gold yeah, emeralds right. with, with, with diamonds. Yeah, sorry. And this is beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, this is like. Uh, okay, got it, got it. And then there's a more like easy one, but obviously right. that's not what you focus right. on. But it's you know. Casual. Yeah, but I like it. It's very fa I like fashion. I like the combination. You know? Super cool, super cool, Thank love you. it. <laughs> so if we move on now, oh, sure. this, this one, I'm really in love with it. Um, <laughs> if we now move on from like jewelry to the part that probably our viewers are looking forward to hear about, I'd be super interested to understand the whole process. Now, right. I understood that somewhere it started with a customer that you got like interested in understanding how to manufacture, right. how to create a, a fountain pen or a ballpoint as so to create a, a writing instrument. Now you know all about it because uh, no, you know a lot about it, I know. Tell me, yeah. like what, what does it happen? Like your customer, they walk in and or you might have some customers who are doing jewelry right. and they tell you, okay, I know you're doing writing instruments, I know you're doing a fountain pen, right. I like to do a fountain pen. What right. happens then? So most of the time, if they, yeah, I mean, they know I do bespoke pieces, right? Yeah, important. So, yeah, so they can make some wish. So they come here and say, okay, look, I want to have it in white gold. I want to have it in red gold. I want to have diamonds. I want to have like a plain solid one. So, uh, and then we start. We start to to uh, make some sketches. Mm -hmm. We start to make some samples. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we develop together. Like a piece. Yeah. And so this is not your typical going into the store and selecting the pen and, and spending 20 dollars but no. there's a whole emotional process and, and creative process and manufacturing process yeah. where you guys design the pen together with right. the customer. Sure. And that's pretty unique. Yeah it is. And that's how I like and understand like the the, the kind of uh, bespoke pieces. Yeah, so and, and real luxury at the end of the day because it's something unique only well, for is, that specific customer. Is. Yeah, and also here it has some really valuable um, 
Elements. Elements. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, before, you know, we did some, some silver, we did some brass, but at the end, I really like it if it's like, yeah, if it had some uniqueness. Yeah, yeah. yeah I get it. I get it. So and right now, if I'm getting it right for what you say, you're trying to focus a bit more on the high-end materials. Yeah. It's going very, very well because you're quite booked already with, yeah. with your orders. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and so you only try to focus on gold pens, right? right. Yeah, because this is also where my heart is, to be honest. Yeah, gold. I really yeah. like to, to, to work in gold because it's different from silver and brass, yeah, you know. Yeah. So, c c can you tell me a bit like, like the difference like in terms of material sure. between I mean, gold, silver and gold? Definitely. I mean, if you, like, if you cut a thread or something. Yeah, or just like, how does it feel for you as an artist yeah. to work one or the other? It's just like, silver is super soft. Yeah. And gold is, is uh, it's, it's, it's more hard. Yeah. So it's, it, I really like if you cut, like if you do an engraving or yeah. if you like uh, set some diamonds, yeah. it's a different feeling. Yeah. And I really like that. Silver is, is like a little bit, yeah, it's too, with, soft. It's too soft. I like the material. Yeah, me too, but, uh, because it gets I old. I prefer gold. At yeah. the end of the day, I prefer gold. Fantastic. And also, I feel a little bit like there is no need to put diamonds in a silver pen. You know, like for me, diamonds belong in a gold pen. Yeah, because at the end of the day, here we're not talking about an industrial process where you do 500,000 no, pens. Right. You do each single pen, yeah, right. you, yeah. your people, and, and that means that whether you use silver or you use gold, at the end of the day, what's really costly and what, what's, where right, the price right. lies is the time and effort sure. you have to put into each single yeah. pen, right? And often we also have to develop new tools for every pen. Uh, so uh, if a customer has an idea, we try to fulfill this and often we have to create a new tool. And very important while he's saying this, everything is done here in right. Basel, yeah, okay? Yeah. So it's not like elements taken left and right, uh, but everything is done back there. Right. We're going to discover it in a few. Yeah. And, uh, and I think that, that that's a super romantic thing. Thank you. Yeah, this is also what I like about it. So everything is, is done here. Yeah. So yeah, I know from like the big brands, they, they do like the body, they source it out for plating. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, so. This is it's how industry works. Thousands right? and thousands, exactly, right. exactly. It's not like in watches is the same, right? Same. So, and this is also what I, what I really, this was my goal, to do everything in-house. Yeah, so, yeah. Everything is under your control, under your umbrella, and you really know what's happening. Sure. And all of the fellow pen and fellow jewel soul is into that specific right. pen that your customer is going to exactly. get. Yeah. Fantastic. But let me show you one piece. I've you have made. one here? Yeah, yeah, sure. Because the, the cool thing about what you do is you do pens, but you don't have like, yeah, I have 30 pens to show you here. Oh. No, because like the pens go to your customers. Right. All right. And this is also, yeah, we, exactly. We don't have like, we don't have a stock. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Sometimes we do one um, on stock. You can buy it or not. But most of the time we do like the bespoke pieces. Yeah. Fantastic. So yeah, this was a piece we just recently done for a customer. Yeah. It was a, yeah, please. Can I, can yeah, I uncover it? Uh, wait, wait, wait. It's made in a solid rose gold with some um, wow. natural green diamonds. Green diamonds? Yeah, it's a natural green diamonds. And the thing was, she wanted to have something with leaves, right? Yeah. And uh, that's why we choose also the, the color green yeah, for the diamonds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the customer in this case, she, she, she wanted to have... Uh, uh, why leaves? I mean, explain me quickly, why the, does she wanted to have leaves? Is, is she like any relation to, well, to I think or she nature? Just, like, uh, yeah, right. She, she's just connected to the nature. Yeah. So she, she really liked and enjoyed. And so in this case, she had the possibility to come to you and right. say, Hey, Rafael, I would right. like to something that goes in that direction. Right. And then you start creating the design, the mock-ups, like, like the, the first drawings, right? right? Just, the drawings. And also, yeah, it's a it's a woman, so we make it a little bit shorter. Yeah, right? yeah. For I remember having pen. one fountain pen at my store. Right, and uh, yeah, it was like clear from the beginning. She she wants to have it in rose gold, and that gave gave us a let's say a guidance. And then we develop like the the pattern, and uh, we we search for the diamonds, and yeah. So as a professional, I've seen a lot of like pens, half-made, left and right, some artists who tried to do. And I always told you, you've, you've, you have a great taste. Thank you. And for me, this is really a beautiful pen. <laughs> like, it's a beautiful looking pen. I love the design of the clip. Yeah. I love the, the diamonds on top. I think, you know, we, we have way, like, we don't have many diamonds in, in, in our industry. Like, mm, watches, you, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. 
I think it's, you know, it's so decorative. Thank it gives you. a value to the piece, obviously in gold. The, the, the logo that you're, you're like fellow is very small. You have uh, the 750, super elegant, Thank very you. well made, love it. And one thing we should not forget is the fact that you invest, you didn't, like, you were not worried into investing for a stamped nib. Right. So this is an 18 karat and you have several, you have one size, right? Right, yeah, we have it like in, uh, in all three golds, like in white gold, yellow gold and rose gold. Okay. Um, and yeah. It's an investment. Which friend of mine <laughs> told me, like, if you want to go into fountain pens, <laughs> have to do gold nibs. <laughs> yes, yeah. and I appreciate and, uh, you followed that. <laughs> no, it paid off, I mean. Yeah, I mean, this is a serious pen. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, no, definitely. When, if someone comes with this pen, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to say, who did this? Yeah. Tell me who no, did this, you yeah. know? And compliments on that. Thank you. Uh, I, I love the design and I'll tell you something more, Rafael. I really think I have to commission now one not for myself this time, <laughs> but for Style of Zug. Sure. I'd really like to work on something that we can have at Style of Zug. Um, I know you you work a lot with the end consumer. That's that's where your where your force Definitely. lies. But I'd really like to have one that I can exhibit and then sure. uh, hopefully sell yeah, we'll in pleasure. my store. Yeah, uh, sure. Because this is like really magnificent. I also love the box. Like, Thank you. You did this. No, like, this is also we did it by our own. So uh, we have like Noemi. Amazing. She she works in the back and she has a um, she studied um, uh, art like textile art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's doing like all the inlay in the box. So this is yeah, it's also like one yeah. one of kind. Look, it's real. And, yeah. and I think everything here is real. You're a real Thank guy. You. And I think everything that is happening behind the curtains that we're going to enjoy yeah. uh, to discover is is real too. So yeah. beautiful that we had the chance to already discover uh, the Pleasure. first piece. But now I want to understand from you, right. Raphael, how all of this works. Okay? Sure. How you do it, uh, your, your, like the machines you have in the back, the, the stones I see. There are stones here. Victor, have you seen there are stones back here? Uh, uh, crazy. So let, let's discover this. Yeah, maybe we could, we could, I can show you like uh, on this piece how everything developed. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we, we, yeah, come on, I'll show you. Let me take you to the workshop. Th that's where you work, by the way, right? Yeah, right. This is, yeah, this is my gold, goldsmith bench. So this is where all the stone setting and engravings happen. He will show us that yeah, later. Yeah, so this is like a microscope and uh, all the tools for the set. Fantastic. Right. Thank you. It's amazing. Look how old it is. So beautiful. Yeah, it's an old so romantic. Yeah. You know from which year or not really? No, not really. But, but uh, before 1900 for sure. It has character. Yeah, that's for sure. Oh, by the way, this is Noemi. Hi Noemi, how are you? <laughs> Hi, good She's to in meet charge you. of the of the box design. Oh fantastic. Yeah. So you did you did the whole design interior of the box and so yeah. on. Yeah, we together we chose the fabric and then I yeah, I placed it. So. Fantastic. You said you have a background into uh, fabric design, right? Yes, I'm a textile designer. Textile designer. Yeah, fashion oh, designer. Fantastic, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so she's made for the job, right? <laughs> so the, and, and can I ask you what you do here at Fellow Jewels? Yeah, sure. She's like a, kind of a brand manager. She takes care of all the, the online business and uh, yeah, the brand management and yeah. That's, Perfect. That's what she did actually. So she did the interior part of designing the box, but the pens are 100% made by you, right? Yeah, right, yeah. All the, the work on the pen uh, is just me. Yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. Right. Awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello everyone. <laughs> Hello Tom. So yeah, this is where the magic happens. Um, so yeah, you asked me about the process of a pen, right? Yeah. So yeah, ah, this is actually one of the first sketches of the of the pen you saw, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was uh, the first. It was a pineapple inspired by a pineapple. Oh, that was right. the early. Actually, yeah, this is a this is a, the the pineapple leaves, right? But we oh. minimize it. To the outlines. Fantastic. So, the so this, this was the first design you did. Let me show you again. Yeah, Does that right. you see it? And it's then, a sketch, right? yeah, it's a sketch. Yeah. And then you started talking with her, and she right. told you, right. uh, yeah. "Listen, I'd like to." Or, or, right? Yeah, we do some like some pattern samples, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, it was like too too much for her. Mm -hmm. So we yeah, we broke it down, and I also did some 
some engravements for her, some samples in silver. So that she could actually feel what it's gonna be like, right, huh? Yeah. Fantastic. And uh, yeah, and here it's not like this fountain pen, but we do samples mm -hmm. um, the, on the layout. Yeah. What is this? Uh, 3D? No, 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 no. It's 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 hand. It's uh, it's uh, made by the lab. Oh. Yeah. So okay. So first of all. We have the design, right? Okay, so you talk so with the customer. Yeah, the customer has an idea, right? Perfect, so. perfect. And then you start doing a few like samples, things where also the customer can start understanding and imagining right. what's do, going to right. be. We do like the the sample of the body. Yeah. First, if we have the body, we we make the, the sketches for the engravement, mm -hmm. and then we go further. Yeah. So this is a yeah. This is a, another sample for the cherry blossom um, job I have. Awesome, huh? You see it? Yeah. And then if we have all like the, the sketches and then we go to the left and uh, yeah, we start, we start making tools, we start making threads, yeah. Incredible. So you have this this like uh, bar of gold, not not like full, but like... Uh, no, yeah, it's a tube. Right? It's a tube, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right, right. So this is a... This is also like a sample piece. It's a it's a brass tube, and this is how how it comes also in silver or in gold. That's awesome. And this machine here, it's like also from the, from the 70s, I think. It's a machine where we can where we can uh, smith, let's say, smith the, the tubes into a certain profile. Oh, so this is true. like, for example, this is a a tool where you can produce the upper part of a pen, right? Fantastic. Yeah. So that's what you need to actually create the shape right, the of body, the pen itself. Right, the body, yeah. uh, the body of, yeah. of, of the pen yeah. itself. And then all the, the threads. And, and depending on, on what like design the customer is gonna go for, they will have you will have to adapt this to create sure, yeah, this and exactly. so on. That's part of the price of the pen also, uh, actually, right? Yeah. And, and can, we have to I understand can tell that. You, like one one tool, just one tool of this is about uh, two thousand five hundred euros. Ah. So if you have, yeah. That's the cost of doing a bespoke pen. Absolutely. It's not something you can just cut out and, no. and form and no. so on, but you need machines right. and there is a cost for right. the tool, the, tool, the, the tool, right? Yeah. That's the, the, the famous tooling cost, right? <laughs> no, definitely, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic, yeah. got it. And, and so here we have, like, you put the, the bar inside. Yeah, I mean, let me show you. Yeah. For the threads, we, we use a uh, precious resin. Yeah. Um, and yeah, depending on the on the body, we depending on the body we we have to cut different uh, threads. And all of these elements are cut here. Yeah, are, yeah. Or, or this one, this one you order from outside, right? No, this yeah, this is a for a ballpoint. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, an element you have to get from, right, from the outside. Right. That would be yeah, crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's undersized, but but that's the mechanism to actually let it work, right? right? Yeah. Fantastic. But uh, yeah, all the all the parts, the threads, and everything is done here in house, uh, mostly at the at this machine here. And then once you get the parts, you start like like how do you finalize them? What what happens? Well, right. Uh, I've, yeah, I've just started to, to create some body for the new fountain pen. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'll just draw some sketches here. So you you draw by hand. It's a pretty much like a tattooer, no? Yeah, kind of. Huh? Yeah, so it's a, kind you, of. you draw and then you start like right. engraving, engraving into it, or whatever, setting some stones or yeah. But mostly I do first engraving, and afterwards uh, I, I set the stone, the precious stone. So after you have done like the first sketches, maybe the first samples, like the one you showed us, right. you showed us here, you get the okay from the customer, right. and then you start working on the actual precious material, metal, right. the precious metal, right. in this case, the rose gold, and then you start like drawing on right. the, the barrel and the cap, yeah. and the engraving starts, right? Right, the engraving starts, and um, yeah, after the engraving, we do the assembly, like we have some, yeah, like for sure here we do like all the the setting mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. after the setting we assembly and then all the all the parts come together. You know how many parts you have for, for one pen? Um, well, it depends on the on the on the pen, mm -hmm. but let's say these are eight parts here. Um, oh, crazy. Yeah, about 10 parts here. So around 18, 20 to 20 yeah, parts, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. And it's a um, cartridge converter yeah, uh, yeah. filling mechanism, right? Right, it's a, 
very easy to use, absolutely makes well, yeah. sense uh, for, yeah, for, for is, uh, fantastic. So, oh, this is already loaded with, we have a, a own ink actually. You have your own yeah, ink? Yeah, yeah, we have uh, the fellow blue. No, come on. Yeah. You didn't know that, right? No, I really <laughs> didn't. Yeah, yeah, we work with a, with a quite, quite a cool company from, from Japan. Come on. The, the fellow blue, this is the first sample we got. And uh, yeah, that's the final product. I want, I want one of these, huh? Yeah, you can take it. I can, I'm gonna take sure, this yeah, one, yeah, no, 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 it's, it's a gift. A gift? Yeah, yeah. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gift. Yeah, uh, no, I just saw it because it's, it's, uh, it has the, the fellow blue yeah, inside. Right? Because that's obviously a customer's pen, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> so, <laughs> easy easy as, uh, as it is, like I'm you said. I'm not responsible uh, what happens after with the ink. <laughs> but yeah, we, I recommend. Fantastic, I'm gonna show you this blue. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dark blue, it's a beautiful blue, yeah. It's a darkish. Love it, yeah. love it. You see, I love that you did this. I love that you took the time to, you know, get in touch with a Japanese no, maker definitely. to create. I think it's part of the, of the whole product, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and of the care that you put into creating such an incredible item. Yeah. Now, uh, you have all the parts here that you can assemble yeah. in case there is something is needed. Yeah. Uh, let's come to I know, I never like to talk about prices, mm. but like, let, let's give an idea also to the viewers, like what can the price of such a writing instrument be? Sure. Gold, handmade, everything made in Switzerland by you, Raphael. Yeah. So they really know where all of this is coming from. Like, where does the price range is? Okay, let's say if you have like a really simple one, and uh, simple means without precious stone, um, for sure in gold, mm -hmm. with some engravements, but without diamonds, mm -hmm. without precious stones. Mm -hmm. I think it's around 10,000, somewhere. Yeah, there. yeah, so absolutely. Eight, eight. Could be eight, 12, whatever. So let's Look, say 10. Totally legit, no, it's totally like, legit. Yeah, I mean, it's, I it's uh, a fair price. Yeah, it's not even a limited edition of like 800 pieces, but it's one piece yeah. for the customer. Right. So it's totally legit. Yeah. Obviously, as soon as you start putting the stones. Right, I mean, and then, uh, yeah, we, we have the knowledge, we can do almost everything, so. W what does your customer usually do? Like, uh, do they like to put stones on yeah, it? Yeah, mostly we, we do yeah. uh, stone setting. Oh, they love it, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it gives it a little bit of extra. How many pieces per uh, month, year, day are you able to do? Yeah, so let's say about one, one piece a month. So, one piece yeah, a month, yeah, huh? Yeah. So, 12 pieces, 12 pens are going to leave the atelier of fellow yeah. pens to reach a customer. Right, right. If it, it's, I, I would say like 10, because it, mostly we do like a little bit more complicated than it's yeah, like, yeah. let's say 10 oh. to... The more complicated, the longer it's going to take, huh? Right. And um, let's say, uh, like, we're, we're going to do a pen, by right. the way, huh? so we will have to, to think all the way. I have yeah, an idea. Yeah, we're going to call. Perfect. Yeah, so soon. I have an idea yeah, about okay. a bit of deco, some, some diamonds. Cool. We're going to do something crazy cool. that we're going to then have at Style of Two. Important. Huh? Um, but say that, um, I'd like to understand, like, from the moment that a customer is able to place an order and start talking with you guys, with right. fellow pens, how long does it take that he oh, gets Oh, yeah, you mean the delivery time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that's that's the short version of it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just, I got it now. Uh, I would say like about six months. Six months. Yeah, so. it, it really did. I mean, if you, if we have to source like a stone, and again, as I told you before, like stone sourcing is something really special. Yeah. I mean, you can easily have a stone, but if you have something like really unique, really specific, mm -hmm. it takes some time. Yeah. Right. Well, you're gonna show us a few of the stones you have there, yeah, the unset yeah, stones. Show, yeah. I think it's super. And uh, yeah, let's say. Yeah, it depends on how uh, difficult the design is and how difficult the assembly is. But I would say six months. Six months, yeah, so, around. Yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah. it's legit. It's legit that it takes yeah. that long. Uh, but uh, look, look, I think it's it, it's truly awesome from my point of view. You know, I've been in watches. I mean, yeah, I've yeah. been pen since since a long time. First of all, again, I have to compliment you on the care that you put behind the design and the making of the pen. It's a truly original pen. It's a fellow pen. And sometimes we've missed that with some, you know, people that try to do bespoke products. You can really see like, like um, the, there is a, the, like a proof of artist kind of approach, which I love. Right. And the, the pen is absolutely stunning. I've had a few at the store uh, er, earlier, early Earlier on and what I see here is absolutely marvelous and I think the idea of being able to produce to make your own fountain pen that it's gonna be only yours and that probably you're going to give further to your kids hopefully, right hopefully, Th right? that's the idea behind oh, yeah. it it's absolutely that's, that's what I like about the idea the, of the of the like one unique piece just for you 
So yeah. And let's not forget we have the material, the precious material that is part of the value that the customer is getting, which goes up and up uh, right now. Yeah. And then there are the stones, which which are absolutely crazy. Yeah, definitely. I, I love it. I Thank love it. You. And uh, compliments on that. Thank you. Show us a few of like the the, the onset yeah. uh, sure, stones. Sure, sure. And I'm gonna take this. Huh? <laughs> It's beautiful to see everyone working here. Yeah, this is like Anna and Juzara. They, they are Hello, everyone. Hi. <laughs> working on some, on some jewels. Fantastic. So, yeah, here you have some, like, let's call it stock of our gemstones. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is where my heart is, actually. I, re I really, I really uh, like and appreciate to work with gemstones. Um, uh, yeah, for example, some, you, you told me, like, you asked me where some special stuff, right? Yeah. So, for example, this one here is a it's an all cut diamond mm -hmm. for carrot and um, yeah it's just it's not a regular diamond you know, as you can see it's like an old cut means it's a real old stone right it's an antique stone it has like the high dome it has like special proportions so this was set probably in another jewelry piece yeah. right and was right. once taken out because uh, right. love it yeah. love it because you, you know diamond cutter they don't cut like this anymore yeah so, yeah. This so you can you can actually understand which era it might be because of the kind of cut yeah, they use true. do you know this one around when when it might be yeah, this should be like around 250 years yeah, this yeah. cut? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, I expected to say like 1920. No, no, we have we have like the, the emerald cut I showed you before. This is like... This, uh, this is like 250 years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Around, I mean, it's, it's hard to tell, right? Because, Can I touch yeah, it? Sure. Uh, but it's, I mean, most... The, the, the main thing is, it's not a new one. Because there are differences between brilliant cuts and old cuts. And even in the old cuts, you have like old, old mine cuts, you have old European cuts. And this is just a really beautiful old European cut. Means it's a round old cut. Yeah. With uh, with specific proportions. So Incredible. Uh, what kind of story this this diamond yeah, might have true, had? Right? Uh, yeah. like, like no, it's it's really pirates like, come to my mind. Yeah. You know, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, especially in, in in old cuts, there is no stone is 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 as, as the other. They are all unique. Yeah. Yeah. One has a, a higher dome. One has like a, a flatter table, a bigger table. So it's it's a, it's unique. So right? I could, for example, tell you, Raphael, I love the story of this of this diamond. It gives me emotions. I would like to have this one on the top of my pen. Sure. Boom. Yeah. Boom. And you're gonna make it happen for me. I'll sure. have to pay. That's for sure. <laughs> but you're gonna <laughs> no, make it happen. Definitely. Yeah. And that's what I, what I like uh, about um, working with gemstones. Yeah. So. Uh, what else special do you have? I'm gonna give you this one yeah, back. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Amazing. So, uh, yeah, of course we have like the, all the three, the, the big, we call it the three big, like the sapphire, rubies, and emeralds. Mm -hmm. So these are the most common gemstones. Um, all natural. So this is a beautiful. Yeah, this is an emerald from Colombia. So the let's say the most the most valuable the the, the most common emeralds are from Colombia. So this ah, yeah? is a, yeah, yeah. And this one is this is sapphire. Yeah. In a, when it comes to sapphire, it, it's it's really important uh, color and and treatment. So um, this and is untreated ruby. This is a ruby. This is a, a no heat ruby, means it's 100% natural. Yeah. Um, and where does it come from? This one know? is from Madagascar. Madagascar. Yeah, we yeah. have some Burmese, we have some Mozambique. And, and tell me a bit, you know, this, this whole story. I, I don't know if, if it's important for sapphire and rubies too, but like, uh, you know, this blood diamonds right. and, and how, how do you handle all of this? Like, uh, uh, you know where this stuff comes from? Yeah, sure. I mean, we, we just, we just uh, work with dealers which we know like for years. Mm -hmm. And they know where the stones are from. Mostly our dealers, they buy directly from the from the mine. Yeah. Or we do. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, we're taking care. Um, you're, you're watching and you're making sure, sure that they're By the way, all the gold we use is recycled gold. So it's, uh, it's the most sustainable um, gold you can get. Oh, yeah. that's very nice. Yeah. Very nice to do. Because you know. there are, I know there are some labels, uh, Max Havalar and, and everything. Yeah. But the most... Yeah, yes, the, yeah sustainable or... Uh, the, yeah. mo the most sustainable gold yeah. is the recycled gold. Recycled gold. Right. Yeah, fantastic. So, yeah, that's the and it doesn't, ch it doesn't change anything from normal gold, right? No, 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 not it's at all. <laughs> they, yeah, no, we don't do it. It's like, it's an industry. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it goes back there, it's being right, re, re, right, recycled, uh, recycled like it's and then it comes in back. A, in a huge oven, it's like, yeah, yeah this is... Crazy. Yeah, 
But uh, yeah, I think, I believe, I know, this is the, the best goal. Yeah. Can you show me this one? Sure. It looks crazy. And, and this one also looks crazy. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm going crazy. No, it's, here. It's, uh, it's, this is, it, wow. again, it's a unique, it's a diamond. It's a five carat plus diamond in a pretty unique shape. Yeah. It's a hexagonal. Um, it's yeah. It's just. I mean, it. Can I touch sometimes it? I can't just explain. Why, no, but it no. I mean, me the, somehow. yeah, I yeah. I can see it. I can see the, the incredible shape that it right. has inside. Yeah. The kind of light that comes the out. The view it, it has. Uh, yeah, everything. Oh, amazing. How many carats is this? Uh, it's about five twenty. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's incredible that you have all of this stuff. I mean, it shows once again your professionalism and uh, and the amount of passion and let's say also investment that you put behind yeah, your work, huh? yeah, it is. because it's not uh, it's not a joke. No, 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 it's not. Wow, wow, wow! This is too much. <laughs> this is a, a, a cushion. It's wow. um, it's it's again it's a vintage cut. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's it's unique. You you won't find uh, a second one Fantastic. like this or like this. So Fantastic. that's what I like about. Yeah, they call it fancy shapes. Yeah. So it's not brilliant, it's not a regular shape, it's yeah. a fancy shape. Yeah. And that's what I like about this one. Yeah. I love it, I love it. Yeah. That, that, that really incredible, I'll give you this Thank back you, yeah. because I'm, I'm almost scared. Uh, but it's truly beautiful and it's impressive to see again the, the amount of things that you have here to show to the customer. And, and I'm sure that anyone that wants to do like a pen or a, or a piece of jewel here with you will have such, you know, more than just a jewel, more than yeah. just, but it's really, there's a whole story that is, is the story of fellow jewels and fellow pens. And, yeah. and I've always loved it. Thank uh, you. No, uh, Rafael. Again, we, we, we put a lot of effort to have these stones here. Like, it's not just the money, you know, it's like you have, I mean, to find a stone like this. Yeah, yeah. It's it is, this is not, there's not a second one. That's not no, a limited no, edition. You can't, you That's can't a just unique. Call you Diamond Dealer. And and I want this. No. Can you send it to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Possible, yeah. yeah. That, that's, that's where the incredible know-how. And then, yeah. you know, as a businessman, as an entrepreneur, I have also to compliment you because uh, I, I said that earlier on, but it's incredible. You have, you are six people now here and I know what it means to have people and, and uh, what kind of uh, responsibility that comes with having people. Uh, compliments on Thank that. You. I mean, it's, it's truly awesome and it's Appreciate nice to it. see a, a, a young uh, person like you, like me, um, I mean, a person that is in the same yeah, age yeah. like me that, that is having such a success and, uh, and uh, is doing such an incredible work. Compliments, uh, uh, Rafael. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I think it, it was incredible. It's not the last time that we will be talking about oh, no, no. Uh, fellow pens. There's more stuff coming. We'll be surely showing also what we're doing for Style of Zug then. We'll talk about that right now. Uh, Rafael, thank you so much for the time. You're welcome. And I hope it's you guys pleasure. enjoyed. If you'd like to do, I have to be a, to take attention. I'm not like moving the table. <laughs> if you'd like, obviously, to to like ask anything uh, to to Rafael, get in touch via sure. fellow pens, right? Right. Yeah. You can text us, uh, Instagram or, or by mail or call us, uh, fellow Perfect. Jews or fellow pens. Perfect. I'm gonna put all the links down in the description. And uh, obviously, you're not gonna get a pen tomorrow. But if you're looking to do something that is truly out of this world, then Rafael is the guy. But I don't need to tell you. You've seen you by yourself. <laughs> Rafael, thank you so much. Thank you. I really loved it. And I uh, can't wait to show you more. Thank you for watching, good fellas. And don't forget that all together, all together, we're changing the game. <laughs>